Please feel free to subscribe. In today's video, we are going to do a day in a life. I've been contemplating doing, you know, the typical day in your life type of vlogging for a while now. I'm not too sure my life is exciting enough for it. Probably not by standards. Um, but I thought, you know what? Whatever. I'm bored. So I need some hobbies. So you're going to be my hobby. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So if you're interested in following along a nobody's life like mine, then we can hang. If you're not interested, I do have other playlists on my channel that have videos with a little bit more substance to it. I would say, mm -hmm. so go check those out. But if you are interested in seeing this nobody's life unfold, on a day to day, then uh, uh, yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. So uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Let's just see what this average Jane's life is all about. Okay, okay. I am Amber Rose and here it goes. Okay, so first is first. I don't know. Guys, I have been in such a rut since the beginning of 2022. I don't know. I haven't been feeling my, I haven't felt myself in a really, really long time. Like, don't get me wrong. There was great memories, moments that happened in 2022 that I'm grateful for. But I feel like overall, when it comes to my physical and mental health, 2022 really kicked my booty. Um, so we're just trying to like figure out how to like get back on the right path. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just going with it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's been tough. It's been tough. So I just showered, as you can clearly tell. I'm just going to let my hair naturally dry a little bit before I go in and blow dry it. Um, and then I just did a basic look. Three of my top products right now, they change. But these are them. So this is like my every day. I go in with a moisturizer. I've been trying to try different kinds and have been over the past year-ish, I would say. Um, but I stumbled upon this one. I'm not even going to try to say the word. I don't know. I don't know. I'll try to link it down below. Um, but I was just at my local shoppers, Drug Mart, um, for only $22, which is really good. So <laughs> babes on a budget. Yeah. Um, it's a moisturizing gel cream, um, with like green tea and all that goodness. So yeah, I actually really like it. Like it is says it's a gel cream. So it's nice and cooling because it's like a gel cream. Like, I don't know, but I love it. It is so cooling and refreshing every time you put it on. Um, this one is good for the AM and PM, which I like cause I don't like having too many things going on because <laughs> we all know I'm not good at that. Um, and then I go in with um, my tinted sunscreen. I have been, this is the second tinted sun sunscreen I've tried over the years. Um, I really, really enjoy this one. I feel like it is thicker um, with more of a, a dense tint because I don't wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis, like the full thing, the full, this is all I got on my skin. So this gives me a little bit of color so I don't look like a zombie walking around the earth, which I enjoy that. I really do enjoy that a lot. This one's good, nice 
coverage from the sun and a nice tint to the skin to make me look like I put myself together when I really didn't. It's an illusion. And then I've been using the Lash Paradise for quite a while now and I would say out of all of the different mascaras I've used throughout the year, this one I always circle back to. I like it. It does some things, you know? And then I just put some eyeshadow in the corners of my eyes. Again, so I don't look like The Walking Dead. Yeah, okay. So that's my little morning routine, if you care. <laughs> this is Kazumo. He's my best friend. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> He's kind of a stubborn a-hole. Like me. We're meant to be. Anyways, um, so we're going to do some things today. I am behind the eight ball as per usual in life. I don't know how I manage. Uh, yeah, so if you are uh, like a hot mess all the time, you're disorganized, even though you try every minute of every day to be organized, but yet somehow you're still very unorganized and you feel like you're running around like a headless chicken all the time trying to catch up. Um, but you're like getting things done, but never truly getting anything done. <laughs> you're not alone. Um, so I don't even like, I'm so overwhelmed today because I'm trying to get a hundred things done that uh, I've procrastinated on and that just need to be done, but I'm just like not, my cat's going right at. Um, Yeah, so I'm trying to get her done, but I don't even know where to start. I don't know what to do and I can't breathe. Okay, so let's just make a list, check it twice and find out if life is not you or nice. Okay, let's do that. I just have my little book poop to do. <laughs> but, uh, and don't mind my wardrobe. When I'm physically at home, I'm either in comfies or pajamas. So just be thankful I'm not running around in my raggy pajamas. Um, but when I'm home, I cannot be like in normal clothes. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I can't do it. So sorry. Yeah, so we're going to write a list of things to do. And, uh, yeah, we're going to try to get her done. <laughs> list of things. I'm sure I have to add more, but I'm very forgetful these days. Um, yeah. So like I said, 2022, um, punched me hard at times and, uh, bouncing back from it. It's just not been easy. And I've just fallen into a really bad, like funk and I'm going to call it like a depression. I just feel very lost in life. Very forgetful, very not like myself. And I don't know. I don't know. Just, it happens. And so we're just going to do what we got to do to make our life all better. And one of those things is we're going to apply for college. Yes, we are. So if there's one thing I do preach in life, that is that it doesn't matter what age you are. You can start your life at 50. You can start your life at 20. You can have one life in, when you're 20 and a whole nother life when you're 30. It doesn't matter. As long as you're breathing and doing your thing, uh, you can do whatever you want when you want. And that's that. So we're going back to college or we're going to apply to go back and hope that they accept me and all of that fun stuff. So that's what we're, we're going to do right here. Let's hope and pray it's not like a horrible long process because my brain can't really handle much of anything. I've done this. I've been to college twice already in my life, graduated both. The first one was journalism, print, and broadcast. That was a two-year program. And then uh, a few years after that, when I realized journalism wasn't really quite my thing, I, I don't know why I'm saying thing, thing like that. Anyways, I went to back to college for what is called police foundations. I do not recommend, but you didn't hear it from me. Okay, okay. But regardless, I did graduate and get a diploma from that as well and work in that field 
today, if you will. I work in like security. I can't really talk about my job um, because there's a very strict no social media policy that if I want to keep my job, I got to like, yeah. So that's why I don't really talk about my job. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing special. It's boring. I hate it. Um, yeah. So that's why we're applying for college and getting out of our current field and moving on in life. So like I said, that was, I worked there for 10 years. I still work there so 10 years and uh, so that was a decade of my life and now the next decade of my life um, will be full of something different but anyways enough rambling like god like who cares what I've done with my life I'm hoping people care I care I watch other vloggers that just go about their little days and I don't know I find it kind of like relaxing in some sense that I just turn my brain off and like watch them do their thing and I'm like oh they went grocery shopping how nice you know what I mean <laughs> okay so we're gonna apply for college let's see if this yeah okay let's do it so is it just me or just talking because that's that's what we do here <laughs> hair in my mouth just like answering the phone or like doing these kind of things just give you like anxiety like it's like kind of like the anxiety of the unknown like what's gonna happen is gonna work out is something bad gonna happen you know am I gonna feel less of a human being after something is said or done to me you know what I mean like every time you pick up the phone you're like oh my god it's like not gonna be good news or something terrible is happening in my life you know I'm gonna apply here and like it's not gonna work the computer's gonna blow up you know what I mean like do you have these con like I just like my heart is pelletating it I think that's how you say it while doing this process just throwing it out there don't know if anyone can relate but I can't do this kind of stuff I just should actually go into a hole and stay there yeah okay but we're not going to we're gonna keep fighting through this pain we did it And it wasn't as, as expensive. It was only $110 Canadian to apply to up to five colleges. So we can go ahead and mark off that we've done something. Um, so that's one thing off of my list. So another thing is if you don't know, I am part of a competitive cheerleading team. Um, you can check that playlist out. It is on my channel. But um, we did get a bid to Worlds uh, last competition. Unfortunately, I did not um, record or do a video of that competition. I was in the worst kind of mood kind of ways. I was just not having my life that weekend, unfortunately. So I did not get anything for that. But uh, we did get a bid to Worlds and I will have more of that later on in April when it'll is happening and coming and all that fun jazz um, but right now we're doing fundraisers so we need to bring in a prize for the fundraiser and procrastinate or me like I already have the idea of what I want to get and everything in my mind and have for a while I'm just now I gotta get it in or you can't participate in the fundraiser if you don't contribute to it so I have to go and get gift cards and come up with a cute little creative way of putting it together. Like I said, I have it in my brain, so hopefully that works out. So I have to do that as well. And then I have music lessons and cheer later on today that I'll take you along just to give you a little glimpse, just to see, you know, how my day goes, how it all breaks down. But so far this has just been talkity talk 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 a dunk. So good times. Um, yeah. So I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay, I blow dried my hair, as exciting as that is. And I'm just with Cosimo. Say hi, Cosimo. Yeah, so we're just down here. Down here. Just trying to get life together. Um, like I said, very far behind. So I got my schedule for work. So I'm gonna put that into my calendar. And then for, we have two fundraisers, right? Yeah, we have two fundraisers going on. So I have to go pick up not only the gift cards and make something cute out of it. For the one fundraiser, I got to go to the dollar store and pick up more craft stuff for the other 
fundraiser. So the other fundraiser is like a sleepover at the gym with the little ones. And they, we all hang out and have fun and we go watch movies and do crafts and all that fun jazz. So my stunt group, we're going to sit down and make these little things for them. If you know nothing of cheerleading, um, gyms make these little things uh, that have like a positive message, you know, their gym, their team, whatever, and they go around and they secretly clip them onto your cheer bags at competitions. And then you'll look at your cheer bag and you'll have like a little cute hidden message. So as far as um, apartment updates, if you've followed my apartment videos thus far, not a lot, not a lot except, ah, who else doesn't enjoy watching other people organize their pantries? Don't lie, we all love it. But um, yeah. Like, I think she looks good compared to the mess she was. So we've just got like linens and towels up there. And then we've got medication type stuff here. My husband's stuff here. This is like toothpastes and toothbrush extras. Then we've got uh, body wash and soaps. Then this is just like my randomness. Sorry, my randomness of stuff and more randomness of stuff. This is more like shampoos and hair care. And then down here, we've just got extra makeup. And then this is all my hair tools. And then down there we have like our pens and like our office supplies and batteries, light bulbs. And this is just some extra towels. So that's her. She's got a be dual purpose because when you live in a tiny apartment, every little corner matters. Um, but not much else has really changed. I actually really enjoy this apartment. As tiny as it may be, I don't know, it's cute. And that's my cousin Mo. He's so cute. And then if you want to look, this is this is what's left of my husband's snowman. Yeah. That's it. My husband built a snowman, but he's melting. But yeah, this winter has been something else. Oops. Uh, the seasonal depression has been real this winter, as I'm like right up in your face. <laughs> but yeah, the seasonal depression has been real this winter. I don't know. It hit me hard this, because I wasn't doing all that great to begin with, like I said, because the repercussions of 2022. And so, I don't know, it's just not helping the situation. And I've been meaning to go to a tanning salon and at least tan in a bed at least once a week. Um, you know, as bad as they say tanning may be, I mean, when you live in Canada and it is cold eight months of the year, in my opinion, that's very much, yep. Yeah you have to find whatever sources you can to help your body feel like it's not freezing to death every day. So, but I haven't even, I haven't even gotten there yet. Like, oh, like I hate me right now, guys. I hate me. Can we just have to love him a little bit more? Cause he's just so cute. Yeah, you're just so cute. Yeah, he's so cute. Yeah, you are so cute. Yeah, he's purring. Hmm. He's my little buddy. I love him. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Get some things done. <laughs> Distracted much? <laughs> Never. I lied. I lied. I'm hungry. I had toast this morning when I first woke up. Um, but I'm hungry. It's all this thinking. That I'm doing today but uh yeah let me know down in the comments if you guys like vlogs like type videos um I don't know I don't know I hope it goes well because I'm having fun but I think I'm gonna make pizza pops like I said I had toast this morning with butter and peanut butter that's what I eat most mornings that I don't work. When I work, I eat a muffin because I have no time for life. But I think I'm gonna have pizza pops. Pizza pops. But uh, yeah. Yeah.
that's what's gonna happen. And then we will get some things organized. <laughs> Okay, I'm home. I swear every outing in the city, I'm not gonna lie, exhausts me. But yeah, so as you saw, I did my little running around. I went to my music class. Um, I'm hoping to bring you guys along for my end of year performance, which should be happening at the end of May. Um, so hoping to do a little video on that and you'll see me in all my glory. Um, but, the song we may do is Think of Me by the Phantom of the Opera. Well, from the yeah, Phantom of the Opera. So that's what we're working on. Um, I'm exhausted. Ugh. Okay. I'm just gonna sit you like this because that's fine. Don't mind my Nikki shelf. We have to get our friend to come and hang up everything because like I mentioned in a previous video, these walls are concrete, so you need a special tool um, to drill into the concrete walls. So he's gonna come one day, hopefully soon, and hang up all of the things that need to be hung. Um, so I don't know, I got, I don't know. So the whole theme of my gift or prize is like dinner and a movie, like date night. So I got a gift card for dinner and movie, but then I wanted to put it together where it would be like cute. It's not just like, here, this is what you won. Um, so like I got like a popcorn bowl to maybe like put in, like put them in, you know what I mean? Like make it cute, like I got popcorn popcorn and Twizzlers and I don't know or is that random I'm gonna go down into our storage room and look at our gift wrapping stuff that we have in there so I'll take you down into the creepy storage room and I'm gonna try to figure out this like prize but other than that I just got more of the Coat hanger, coat hanger? No. 
my goodness, clothespin for the kids and some stickers to decorate them with. And I'll show you what I already got in case you are a cheerleader and you want to do these. Um, I don't know. I don't know who's watching. So I got two things of like these paints of like all the different colors, two of them. And then paint brushes. And I was told by the lady that I ran into at the store, don't give like a, like a paintbrush to each child. Designate a paintbrush for each color. So I have 24 colors and 24 paintbrushes. So each color gets its own paintbrush to keep it. You know what I mean? I think that's a good idea. I don't know if this is a really weird angle, but we're going with it. And then also she recommended like cutting up sponges and you can sponge paint on the on them. It gives it a bit of a different like texture. So I have four packs of these. So hopefully that's enough. So each kid at least has like a three to five to do each, right? And then permanent marker to write their nice message and team and all that on and then like i said they can stick stickers on it and then i asked the other girls from my son group to bring in things like glitter stickers anything else they feel like they could use to decorate their little pins so yeah that's what i got for that fundraiser and this is what i got for this fundraiser so let's go and try and see if we can figure out how to make this cute because i don't know we'll see Okay, so we're gonna go into the creepy basement. I hope I have the right keys. I don't know, so we'll see what keys my husband gave me. And hopefully we can get in so I can look and see if I have wrapping paper ideas. And I don't have that. Oh, I do have that key as I hold it. I'm like, I don't have that key. I do have that key. Okay. All right then. We are in. This is our little storage room. Oh, Christmas. Oi. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can grab this stuff. Okay, so I was <laughs> exiting the storage room and I was pulling the door and I thought that I was locked in there. I was freaking out for a second, but it's, you push it, push it and it opens. Okay, so all I ended up finding was tissue paper, which I needed anyways, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough to like put in the bottom of the bucket. This image in my, ide in my ideas, in my head of how I want things. To work out and then they never work out even though like it looks good in my brain but it doesn't in real life so just going to tape uh, when I get gift cards I always tape the gift card receipt to the back just in case there's any like activation issues happened so I guess that's cute is it cute yeah Cosmo thinks it's cute I don't know I think that's cute all right so I have some time between cheer now and cheer I'll see you guys in a bit I'm just gonna eat something and rest until cheer, like I just said, hello. I don't know what to eat, so that I'm gonna go figure out.
Hopefully you've stayed with me thus far and uh, had fun seeing a lovely day in my life. All right, so I just lazed about, watched some YouTube, some of my favorite vloggers while I lazed about, ate two croissants, because why not? And now it's cheer time. I just have my I am a cheerleader t-shirt on and that's nothing fancy. Some Victoria's Secret leggings. So I'm just gonna head off to cheer. I'm fortunate I don't think I'll be able to get anything anyways because we're perfecting our routine for worlds, well nationals and then worlds. So probably won't be able to get much of anything anyways. So I just want to thank you all so much for taking along a day in my life, applying to college with me, getting out, doing some Toronto errands with me. So yeah, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm hoping to do more days in my lives as well as all of my other playlists, adding to those as well. So I hope that you hit that subscribe button, stick around for one of the playlists, if not all of them, and join me on my journey. So until the next video, stay sweet. Don't let the ride or die. I keep boy by my seat. Don't let the ride or die.